A very good evening, everybody. Friday night football signals the start of the weekend and the beginning of round 12 in the MPL New South Wales men's competition. Manly United hosting Spirit FC from Cromer Park. There up front alongside number 18, Zach Shanchi. And we are right on top for kickoff. Our referee, Logan Jones, gets us underway. Quite a game last weekend. Peter Kakaris is looking for his first goal for Manly United in the league. And Rossello fires over on the follow-up for now. And it's Will Falder forward for Manly United. Pires won't mind it from distance. Sat up for him as well. And he struck it nicely. Defending to do here the first Manly man. With the rest of his defence, it's taken short. And Wigan will crack from the outside of the area. Cornwell with that. And Fry finds Wigan. Ball's locked down only as far as Darko, who really is having a telling influence early. Wiggins in behind his fullback and finishes it off. Returning to the venue where he played so much junior football. The air almost casual initially, but managing to win it back was Buckmarsh, and he's weighted that ball beautifully. Darko off the post. Still not clear for Manley Cornwell. Uh, sure. Fisher had got the wrong side of Buckmarsh, who timed his challenge beautifully. Still danger not clear for Spirit, though. Kikaris were having a second bite, and big appeals for handball right in front of the referee, who points to the spot. Kikaris will have taken them against him in trading. Who will that advantage? Kikaris. His first goal for Manly United in league football brings them level against his old club from them really since that opening day victory against St George Kakaris getting on to his right big deflection and Peter Kakaris after waiting 12 games for a goal has got two in three minutes different look being thrown beautiful ball from Kakaris touch for Hillier this is stunning stuff and Rossello forces a save from Marquez three goals in the first half of a game this season, if they were to find another one before the break. The ball, Marquez flapped at it and made a brilliant recovering save. The deflection off again of it. This time both from the foot of Peter Kikaris. Whether he'll be credited with the second goal is uh, still to be debated. After a big, big deflection which gave Family United the 2-1 lead, which they'll take to the Sheds. That was all after Ollie Wigan had opened the scoring for Spirit and their way back into it. That's the question we're asking as the second half kicks off. Manly going from right to left, Spirit from left to right. For Richard Ducker, who's in plenty of space here, and sums it up for Wigan. Great save by Kay. That's ducking inside Cornwall. Marcelo's got all sorts of space, only palm back to Fisher, and a double save. It's miraculous from Marquez. Spirit number one. He's got another bit of defending to do here. Kikaris with another dangerous ball. And this one's found its way in. It's Jesse Pires claiming it. The week's coming up for that club as well. So George to have the reopening of Barton Park. That's a very dangerous ball. And the second handball of the night. This time it's Philagoy, the guilty party. And Spirit are going to have well loved by Spirit supporters. Face to face with Levi K. And he got a touch to it, the manly goalkeeper, but couldn't keep it out. Spirit still alive. Locks it back for Cornwell now. One leaping was short up from the back. Right on halfway, almost exactly where we restarted after the, the stoppage for the lighting outage. Nicholas knocks it forward. There's space here for Conestabo of all people. And he was looking for a yellow short shirt. All he could find was Aganovic. And Logan Jones's final whistle finally goes. Open the scoring for Spirit. But then two goals from Peter Kikaris. The first from the penalty spot and the second via a deflection. His first two in Manly United colours gave them the lead. A third added by Jesse Perez after the break.